everyone and welcome back to Scalers YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be discussing what neural networks are. So if you want to know what actually happens behind the curtains, watch this video till the end. Have you ever thought about how your phone manages to recognize your face? Or how it identifies your voice to carry on tasks smoothly? It is all because of what is known as neural network, which is used in a wide set of domains starting from marketing to healthcare. In fact, you can find neural networks everywhere. But before we dive into any further detail of today's topic, we would request you all to take a moment and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Without further ado, let's start from the basic. What is neural network? A neural network, also known as artificial neural network or a simulated neural network, is the functional unit of deep learning which uses artificial neural networks to simply mimic the behavior of human brain to analyze and find solution to complex data-driven problems. Before we talk further about neural networks, it is essential to know what deep learning is. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which in turn is a subset of AI. Simply put, deep learning is a type of machine learning whose functioning is highly inspired by the human brain. In context of deep learning, this brain-like structure is known as artificial neural network. Deep learning itself is a part of machine learning, as discussed earlier, which falls under the larger umbrella term of artificial intelligence. All three concepts are interconnected with each other. In fact, machine learning and deep learning together covers the gaps in artificial intelligence through an intense set of algorithm and neural networks to ensure reliability. Similar to the human brain, deep learning makes use of neural networks. Every time information is fed to its neural function, it starts to process data via layers of perceptrons to produce the desired output. Now, let's explain neural network with a small example. Imagine you are given a set of images that are already labeled and you are supposed to classify them into two categories. One of the categories involve non-diseased leaves and the other diseased leaves. The question is, how will you segregate these images into the categories mentioned? The process involves analyzing and transforming the input in a way that is easy to process. Depending upon the image dimension, each image will be broken into different pixels represented as matrices. Just like outbrain connects different thoughts, the artificial neural network has perceptrons that connect information together and give data-driven solutions. Apart from this, let's look at some real-life examples of deep learning, something you use every day without knowing the concept behind it. Do you use Google to translate text? That's deep learning. Also, have you ever used visual translation? If yes, it's another significant application of deep learning. Let's not forget to mention automated or self-driven cars, which are now considered the biggest example of deep learning. Now, you may wonder, what exactly is perceptron? Keep watching. What is perceptron? Perceptron are essentially part of any neural network. It may not be wrong to say that multiple perceptrons combine to form a dedicated neural network. It is defined as algorithm for supervised learning of binary classifiers. The binary classifiers set the relation between the input and the output. Perceptron was introduced in the year 1957 by Frank Rosenblatt and was based on the original MCP neuron. It enables neurons to learn and process inputs in the training set, selecting one at a time. There are two types of perceptrons. Single layer perceptron. These perceptrons can learn separable patterns only. Multi-layer perceptrons. These perceptrons have excellent processing power with an interconnected system of multiple perceptrons. Now, when we have briefly introduced the single and multi-layer perceptrons, it wouldn't be right to not explain both of them in detail. What exactly is multi-layer perceptron? A multi-layer perceptron or MLP is found in feed neural networks. These multi-layers are the input layer, output layer and hidden layer. Perceptrons, when they have a single hidden layer, are called vanilla neural networks. The first layer of perceptron receives signals. However, the prediction and classification are performed by the outer layer. Note, all these three layers have non-linear activating nodes. 
Thus, a multi-layer perceptron doesn't mean that a single perceptron has multiple layers. It refers to a set of perceptions arranged in a layer often called as multi-layer perceptron network. These perceptrons can employ arbitrary activation functions. However, in most cases, the perceptrons in these multi-layers are not even true perceptrons. A true perceptron performs binary classification and is a special case of artificial neurons that use the heaviside step function or any other threshold activation function. The multi-layer perceptrons are used to solve complex problems like fitness approximations and speech recognition. Different image recognition methods and machine translations are other major scope areas for multi-layer perceptrons. Since we have studied neural networks and perceptrons, it's time we dig a little further and understand the various components of neural network. Components of neural network just like our brain, which has different parts dedicated to control different body movements and actions, a neural network too consists of various components, starting from the smallest component of neural network, perceptron, that combines in large number to complete a neural network. The first in the list of components is inputs, which can be defined as a measure of the feature. Like any other system, a neural network is of no use without appropriate or correct data or input. After input comes weights, which measures the importance of each input by scalar multiplication. So, a neural network works to get the weights right to strike the balance. The weights may not give a clear result, but offers the right direction and inputs to the neural networks. These weights are then passed to transfer to the function. The next in the list is transfer function which is quite different from other components of neural networks as it combines multiple inputs to a single output. Later, we have an activation function necessary to convert a dramatized output out of the number from the transfer function. Note, the activation is picked way before the initialization of the process. The last in the list of components of neural networks are multilayer perceptrons. You can easily create multiple perceptrons from a single one. All it takes is to plug the output of one into the other's input. This connection of perceptron in chain that flows from one end to another is called multilayer perceptron. A fully connected multilayer perceptron ensures that every single perceptron in one layer is connected to other perceptron in the next layer. Now it's time to explore the step-by-step -step working of neural networks in artificial intelligence. How neural networks work? Let's construct a neural network that differentiates between a circle, a square and a triangle. Neural networks comprise multiple layers of neurons which are the core processing units of the network. Firstly, we have the input layer which receives the input and the output layer is responsible for predicting the final output. In between these two layers, there are multiple hidden layers that are responsible for performing different computations by the network. Imagine the image of circle to be 28 by 28, which makes up to 784 pixels. Each of these pixels is fed as an input to the first layer. Each layer of neuron is interconnected to the next hidden layer of neuron, which is assigned a numerical value known as weight, which we have discussed earlier. The input are then multiplied to these weight, whose sum is sent to as an input in the next hidden layer. Note, each one of this neuron is then associated with bias, a numerical value that is further added to the input sum. The abstracted value is then passed to the threshold function known as activation. The activated neuron transmits data to the neurons of next layer over the channels. Once the process is completed, data is propagated, which is then called forward propagation. By looking at the figure, we can make out which one of the circle or a triangle or a rectangle. How will the network figure this out? Note, in case of network make wrong prediction, there are networks that are yet to be trained. Here, the predicted output is compared with the actual production to analyze error and derive solutions. The sign suggests how wrong we are in our prediction. Once the information is analyzed for error correction, it is transferred back to our network known as backpropagation. How does backpropagation work? Backpropagation is all about an algorithm to compute the gradient, not about the way of processing the gradient. 
it simply generalizes the gradient function by delta rule and automatic differentiation the working of back propagation is simple and fast the input arrives at one point through a pre connected path these inputs are modeled using pre defined weights that are selected randomly the output for every neuron is collected from the input layer to the hidden layer and the input layer to the output layer the errors in the output are then calculated the main back propagation work starts when it travels back to the hidden layer from the output layer and adjusts the weights these adjustments are aimed at decreasing errors the working of back propagation is easy to program and is repeated until the desired output is obtained it doesn't require any fine tuning except for the inputs it is gaining popularity as there are no requirements for prior knowledge in neural networks the role of activation function is important with this we come to an end of our today's discussion if you guys have any questions or queries regarding today's session we would be more than happy to answer them all you have to do is comment below and get the answers before leaving let's quickly have an overview of what we discussed today for better understanding we started our discussion with few popular examples of neural networks then we defined a neural network we also gave a brief introduction about deep learning if any of you missed our previous video regarding the same we then discussed various kind of perceptrons in the last section we highlighted various components of neural networks and how neural networks work we ended our discussion by touching upon back propagation and its working Scalar has launched an exclusive data science program which was created based on insights from 100 data scientists working at 50 top tech companies. The program helps you tackle the toughest problems in data science and machine learning. Experience live classes from data scientists, mentorship from top industry experts and work hands on with 40 plus critical tech tools to solve for real world business problems. Know more about the program by clicking on the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button share it with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel to show love and support also don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video so you don't miss out on an insightful update from our end we will see you next time with an amazing video take care of yourself